Hello everyone, welcome back to whatever this thing is. This time it is... This thing. Whatever that is. Um, this is the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Ball Evolve figure. Uh, Dragon Ball Evolve Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure. It's like my third take. Wow. Um, yeah, it's... To my understanding, it's not a very um, common figure, uh, at least to what I've seen. Uh, seen. Um, yeah, let's take a look at the figure itself. Um, yeah, I found it randomly in like some kiosk in a mall uh, here, which is very um, out of character to this place because you know, our culture isn't that really big even like um, Toys R Us don't have like collector grade uh, figures and I'm saying that and even like Marvel Legends they don't have they have like all the basic lines but none of the more high grade uh, figures I guess or anything um, yeah, so this here is a very nice uh, figure. Um, you can tell the light is very bright. I need to do something about that. Maybe like... No, I don't want to completely like... This is a fair amount of light, right? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, so you can tell this is a very nice figure. It's around the scale of the Shoto figures. Uh, just a little more articulation there. Um, <clears throat> only a few gripes I have with this figure. So let's get them out um, right now. So, yeah. Uh, mainly, what I have most trouble with is the eyes can see is a little curl side and I don't know if it's just with my figure it seems like the eyes are sculpted uh, but not fully painted at least not the pupil or irises I guess because it's blue and pupils should be black because there are holes in the middle of your eyes um, it doesn't matter I feel like my voice is a little ho hoarse <clears throat> so I'm sorry about that uh, this is, granted, my third take, and I've been talking a lot. Um, yeah. So, also, another gripe, this here. Um, the shoulders vary between very stiff and very loose, and I don't really get why. Um, yeah, and uh, the hands, the wrists, uh, well, not the wrists, more like the hands, the pose. Uh, it doesn't come with any other hands, just this one, um, which is more of the energy attack kind of ones. You can do a, all kinds of poses with them, but, you know, it's not that much variable. I mean, it shouldn't be that much of a gripe, but nevertheless, it's just what I feel about this figure, even though I very much love this figure. It's one of my more favorite Dragon Ball figures, not that I have many. I have like three or four. Yeah. Sorry, I had a little burp there. And it's still there. And then it became some puke. And then I swallowed it again. I'm so sorry you had to hear that. With a microphone very near my throat. I'm going to leave that in though. You can't let those kind of things shame you. You just can't. Yeah. I I bet Goku would 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 feel the same. Anyhow, let's talk a little bit a little bit about the articulation. Um his head is on a ball joint which make him look not very far up or very far down, but there's a lot of tilt and of course 360 uh, swiveling motion thing. By the way, it's not very much of a 
ball joint more just like a straight bag with a little bit of round shape to it um, <clears throat> sorry yeah uh, both of his shoulders are on double ball pegs and um, which gives it a very nice range of articulation not very much to talk about there uh, he has a swivel in his bicep 90 degree bent in his elbow wrists are on a swivel and a hinge uh, he has a, actually yeah happens he has two um, articulations in the torso uh, he has like a diaphragm joint in his uh, middle section and then in his waist he has another ball joint which gives him a very nice range uh, this belt is a floating piece it's just there so let's move that kind of out of the way to check out this um, he can kick this high up not very much back he has um, he can kick that much out a thigh swivel a very very nice uh, knee bend ankles are on a swivel go up down and are on a pivot yeah um, so overall you can get him into very nice poses if his shoulders hold up and you move them the way you want them because this middle piece here the floating piece so that you don't see the joint in there can get a little bit awkward and especially this hands um, also but yeah I like to put him in like a uh, fighting style poses so like one hand on like this the other hand here and is like in sort of a crouching pose like he's starting a battle but not really fighting yet um, yeah so that is um, about it paint wise uh, I really like the hair color here it's this metallic uh, kind of cyan blue thing that I really really like I didn't think that I would because um, it's metallic it doesn't really make sense but I do like it and uh, yeah, it doesn't really have that much paint abs on him, just uh, a little bit here, the ropes and the shirt here. Everything else is the color of the plastic. And uh, there's no paint shading anywhere. Of course, you, you have the eyes and you saw what kind of a job they did there. It's very clean, but it's not not good enough. Because I do see, like, there's the marking on the plastic where his pupils are bigger than they painted them. So, I guess they just didn't paint all the way. Which could be, like, a QC issue. So, it varies between figures. Um, overall, this is a very, very nice little figure. I like it. It's about five and a half inch tall, maybe less. Um, you can see it here with um, figure arts Tony Stark, the Figma Toilet Prince's Link, and uh, Figma Spider Man. Amazing Spider-Man, sorry. Um, yeah, those are just the closest figures that I had here. And I just don't want to get up. Yeah. So, not very much to say about this figure, except it's a very nice one. Um, if you see it, get it. It should cost much. 
uh, it's not the 112 scale, so it's not gonna fit with your figure arts. Um, and even though if you get Dragon Stars, this is so much smaller than those. Um, this is, again, around the shadow figure scale, which is nice. I don't, I don't really have any of the shadow figures, but uh, seeing them, they do have nice paint and sculpt and a variable amount of articulation, uh, because, you know, not the same joints as to what I've seen. It's more like disc joints, um, which shouldn't change much, actually. It's just a different way of doing things, I suppose. Um, so with them, yeah, it would fit very nice with. And uh, again, I do like this figure a lot. Yet I don't really find any other words to finish this with. Um, yeah, uh, appears that it comes in the same series as uh, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta, and Super Saiyan Broly from the movie. So this is specifically, I suppose, for the movie. And uh, from what I see on the box, this is like specifically marketed for uh, Bandai America. Uh, for some reason, I think it has written it on French, so I g in French, so I guess it's like for Canada as well. The French, I didn't really understand why until I remembered Canada is a thing um, that exists <laughs> and is in America. Um, yeah. Something about America. I don't really understand why people in like the United States call the United States America as if it's the whole, like, place. Because it's not. There are a lot more countries in America, in the Americas, because there are two um, continents named America. And I'm just talking too much about things that don't really matter, so uh, I'll catch you guys later.